Okay, so Gordon Hayward has already had surgery on the 18th, less than 24 hours after the start of the NBA season. Hayward was already in surgery. He's already in recovery from that surgery. So if you're going to have an injury like this in the season, there's no better time to have it than in the early first quarter of the very first game on the first night on the NBA schedule, guys. So they're going to be nice and quiet and polite and let him recover in peace. And they're not going to give any hints or signs, but there was no joint damage. There was no nerve damage. There was no cardiovascular damage. So none of his veins are all screwed up. Compare this to the Isaiah Thomas injury, guys. Give me the Gordon Hayward injury any day because unlike Isaiah Thomas's injury, this is a very clean cut injury. And this isn't some new situation where anything could happen. It could heal and recover any way. Isaiah Thomas's injury could re-inflame after one game or after five games or after 50 games. They have no idea whatsoever, but it's not good. And all they know about Isaiah Thomas's hip is that it's going to be degenerative in a general sense over the rest of his career. So it looked gruesome guys, but people heal from this all the time. But people recover from shoulder dislocations all the time, right guys? So it's the same way with an ankle dislocation. And if it's ever going to happen, the first game, first quarter of the first day of the NBA season is the best time for it to happen with the zero damage to anything. Okay, it was just clean. We got really lucky here, Celtics fans. We got really lucky, but it was clean. And so there they're going to be very quiet and polite and politically correct or whatever, and they're going to let this guy heal. But it's a clean injury, and they did not pay Gordon Hayward $30 million a year to sit around when he's healthy. And it, whether it's March, whether it's April, whether it's even May at the very latest, tip-top shape, guys, early May, it, that's like uh, second round of the playoffs. That's not even Eastern Conference Championship, guys. So I'm very optimistic, and I think we really dodged a bullet. Don't say anything out loud, I suppose, to put more pressure on him. But in the back of your mind, we got an ace in the hole, guys. We got an ace in the hole. This was not any season-ending injury for the Celtics team. And we're going to have this guy in the playoffs. You're going to see whether he starts or not is a different issue. He is going to probably come off the bench because the Celtics will already be in their rhythm completely. They'll already have their starting lineup ready to go. But it's going to give us a real nice option off the bench. And the only reason I could see Gordon Hayward not playing in the playoffs is because guys like Shemi Ojale and Abdul Nader are playing out of their minds or something like that. And they say, you know what? We don't really need him. Chances are we will need him. You know, he's not going to be the fully 100% Gordon Hayward in the prime of his career, but he'll be a, some version of Gordon Hayward who's a really nice passer who can knock down shots, that kind of thing. So he could be a great option off the bench, guys. And I think we're going to see him healthy and I think he's going to play and I think he's going to want to play. The other thing is uh, it was a gruesome injury, but the fact that they reset that joint on the floor within seconds of him getting injured, the whole mental trauma or whatever of the injury was greatly reduced. He was only in pain for like probably two minutes at the most. And yeah, it was a little bit painful after that, but his head is probably in a very good space and the pain of being out for months is much more than the actual pain he was ever in. So uh, he's going to be ready, guys. He's going to be strong. He's going to be tough and uh, we're going to see him in the playoffs. That's my prediction, but I'm not going to be talking about it all the time because just let the guy recover in peace. All right, guys, let me know what you think. I will see you soon. Peace.